All right, so here is the Harley Benton Nashville Steel. Um, I've had it for about a week now. Uh, I've been playing it off and on, different settings, that sort of thing. What I want this guitar to be is my backup for acoustic and electric. And I think it can do that. Um, it's definitely a jack of all trades and a master of none. Um, so what I'm starting out on here is I have the blend knob set halfway between. I feel like when it's all the way on the acoustic side, uh, the piezo side, it's just too tinny. Um, don't really like the, the tone. And I am going into a PA speaker uh, through my pedal board. I'll go ahead and show you that setup. Uh, maybe not. Just flip it around this way. Anyway, so here's my pedal board. Um, so the only thing that's on right now is the reverb and the EQ. When I turn on, uh, when I switch over to the lipstick pickup, I will turn on the, the sans amp there. And I have it on the, the tweed clean setting. Um, and this is the PA speaker. So it's just going in the one right now. Um, my goal with my whole rig is to be as simplified as possible. Sorry about this. Okay. So the onboard EQ does work great. Um, I found that I like to have the mids scooped in both settings, uh, whether it be acoustic or electric. Um, and I don't like to go all the way, uh, with either one, actually, um, with the, the blend knob anyway, the blend switch, um, what do they call it? They call it lipstick and ceramic. Um, so I have it right halfway in between right now to get this acoustic tone. sounds pretty nice. Um, I'll demonstrate all the way on the ceramic side. So significantly more thin and brittle. Um, and it, uh, it seems to accentuate the internal rattle of the, the piezo pickup. Um, I'm not sure where, where exactly that's coming from, but since we have no access panel, there's really nothing I can do about it. It's really frustrating. I'm actually contemplating cutting a hole in the back of the guitar just so I can get in there and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of frustrating actually. And I don't, the wire that's inside there just does flop around. It doesn't make noise during normal use, but I would just rather have it secure. And I would love to be able to put, I don't know, um, some sort of foam or padding uh, underneath the piezo pickup. Um, I feel like that would maybe secure it better and maybe it wouldn't quite rattle like it does. Um, like it's really noticeable on individual strings. So. Yeah, so that's... That's probably my biggest beef with it, uh, is that rattle that will not go away. Uh, it's not fret buzz. Um, it is something internal with that piezo pickup. Um, and we'll switch it over. So this is purely on uh, the lipstick pickup. Like I said, I do like to take it a little bit uh, towards the piezo. That really brightens it up. Um, I think it, it sounds quite a bit better. Turn on the sans amp. Turn down the highs a little bit. So this pickup is very muddy. Um, and the distortion 
it provides is, it's, it's really not distortion, it's just mud. Um, so, um, It is it almost sounds like it's it's just muffled and it's like the speaker's in another room or something like that. Um but taking that that switch and just moving it slightly over the really gives it some life. Oh. Yeah, so overall, I'm still happy with it. Um, I think it'll do what I want it to do, and as I dial it in more, figure out where the deficiencies are in my system, whether it be in the guitar, whether it be in the amp, or the PA speaker in, in this instance. Um, I think I'll, I'll grow to like it more, but this, I just don't think it'll ever be my main guitar. Um, and for 250 bucks, it's probably not supposed to be. Uh, so if something happened, um, my kid stepped on it and broke the neck or something like that, would I replace it? I don't think so. Um, and the other side of that, would I sell it right now? Um, no, I don't think I could get what I would want or what I paid for out of it. Um, and it's, it's not worth it to have the hundred bucks or 150 bucks back, however much I could get. Um, it's nice, nice enough, it does its job. Um, to be a backup guitar or one that I take um, to a questionable gig, like if I'm playing outside and the weather's bad, something like that, or a uh, situation I was in the other day, I was playing in the, uh, pretty much in the rain. Um, I was getting splashed on and uh, all that kind of stuff. I took as few pedals as I could and um, had a, another acoustic electric guitar that is, I feel about the same way about it. Um, and it's, it's good in that situation. Um, that being said, I feel like it's a it's a very small niche that this is going to fit into, and that's kind of the way even the T5 is. Uh, some people love it, but most of us don't. Um, it's not a good enough acoustic, and it's not a good enough electric, and that's where this is too. So obviously a clone of that guitar, and it sits right in the same place. Um, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It is what it is. Harley Benton, I think you did a great job for the money. It plays really well. Um, my biggest ding against it is not having any sort of access uh, to the inside of the guitar. Anything goes wrong with it, it's toast. Um, or you cut a hole in it, like I'm talking about doing. Um, yeah, don't know why that is. Um, Ovations have an access hole, T5s have an access hole. This guitar just doesn't is what it is um but yeah there's not a whole lot of great reviews about this guitar um not that i'm saying this one is a great review but hopefully it gave you a little more insight into it thanks